Welcome, this is Chris L. Davis from AutomationBridge.com and today I want to show you how to create an HTML text-based newsletter in GetResponse. Um, a text-based newsletter, HTML text-based newsletter is probably the easiest and quickest way to get started in sending out content uh, to your subscribers using GetResponse. And if you're not familiar with an HTML text-based newsletter, uh, let me show you. So if we jump into my email account, you'll see one of my most recent newsletters that I sent out. And my newsletters at the time of this recording, they're all text-based HTML newsletters. And what that means is that you have nothing but, you know, white background, black text, and a, and a few links. So what I want to do is show you exactly how to create this. So for the sake of brevity in this video, I'll just highlight this link because I'm just going to repeat this link here this text here and let's jump over into my get response account in your get response account you just want to go to messages and create newsletter uh, you click that and it will take you right to this screen all right uh, the next thing you want to do is click here and pick whichever campaign you want to send your email out as get response sorts every newsletter that you send according to the campaign in which you sent it as and all that means is in the future if you want to look back and see you know like email analytics on this newsletter or find it and locate it maybe you want to duplicate it it's going to be filed under whichever campaign you sent it as all right so my recommendation is that you always use new email creator absolutely every time there's no reason for you to do anything else and when we click that we'll be taken to get responses default message configuration this is for every message whether it's an autoresponder or a newsletter and I'm just gonna step through these fields very quickly for you the message name is for internal use only this is the name that you're gonna want to put so that you can easily uh, identify this email um, in the future so for this sake I can say newsletter example okay now the subject line is what the receiving party will see in their email client so open this now that so this is the subject line and this is who it's from all right now this personalized field is where you can enter their name their first name last name email whatever information you collected from them when they decided to opt in to your list okay and then symbols are these symbols that you can just click and add put a star into the subject line uh, you want to use symbols sparingly I don't recommend anybody use them unless you really know what you're doing and then your from email is simply the email account that you set up uh, when you set your get response account up and you can change that so that if the people receiving the newsletter you would like for them to reply to a different email address um, you would do that in that link right down here always keep click through on uh, this is gonna track every click of a link in your email this is one of your strongest analytics to track so you want to make sure that's always on Google Analytics this is for advanced users uh, what this does when it's switched on there's a bit of configuration so I'm gonna leave it off for the sake of this video but it's for advanced users if they want to track what do visitors do once they get to their website so they could track them clicking a link in their newsletter and then once they land on their website they can see what pages are what activity that visitor engages with um, you can of course here's the social social stuff you can publish it to Twitter or Facebook um, I have my Twitter account account linked up so I could just click this on and it'll let me add whatever text if you have multiple accounts you'll be able to select them there keep this off for now you can do the same with Facebook a B testing is something new that give response just added I'll have a video on this in the near future really cool stuff but it's strictly for advanced users so ignore it for now all you need to do is select next step now you'll be presented <laughs> but don't be distracted by all of these beautiful templates get response offers so much value in their platform that it's really amazing but you can sort these templates by uh, category if you want to 
so let's say we're in the internet marketing space you can just select one of these templates and not have to start from scratch and pick up right going with a nice design add a few design elements and uh, you may have a perfect layout for your newsletters going forward but for the sake of this video we're gonna select start from scratch and use the blank template now what the blank template is gonna do is it's gonna give us just a clean surface to work on okay so no distraction no design element it's gonna let us really be able to jump in here and just do get our text based email out so you want to grab a text block and drag it over to the little monster disappears what you see over here is the mobile preview you can simply click that button to turn it off um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this text and just paste what I copy from my newsletter uh, and since I don't use these dark headlines I just delete it hit delete a couple times move it up so now you have your text in here the last thing you need is a link uh, more most commonly what you'll be doing is sending a newsletter with a link to a specific page on your website so let's jump to my website and grab a link to one of my pages to put in this newsletter just so you can get a feel for exactly what I'm talking about so we're over here on my blog page this is automationbridge.com forward slash blog we're just gonna highlight this hit copy and jump back into our newsletter and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say click here to visit my blog and find more useful information alright so what I want to do is I want to turn this into a link that somebody can click and I'm just gonna simply click that lock sign hit control V and there it is that's the URL that I just selected click OK and there you have it so now this email will go out once they click this link they'll be directed to my blog site let's end this off guards the signature line put any salutations that you want and just because it's good practice like I said get response does a great job because look this is how your email is gonna look on a mobile phone uh, and you can swap it and see what it looks like in landscape view or yeah landscape portrait whatever so what I've been email marketing for a while and this is just out of habit but I always set my message width to 400 the reason being is because it's the most optimized width for any mobile device and tablet all right that's about all you need to understand with that and I like to justify mine to the left so once you've made those two adjustments you can simply hit next step however before you hit next step this is something that I would highly recommend I recommend that you go here and send a test message when you click here it's gonna ask you which email address to send it to you can only send it to email addresses that you've already added to your account okay you click send you will get a copy in your inbox if everything looks good from your inbox if everything lays out well then go to next step when you get to this next screen it's gonna ask you to choose your campaign uh, if it's not already expanded click that button there and it'll expand to all of your campaigns and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna select one of my test lists here right here and if you scroll down this this number is updated okay this number is gonna show us how many people are gonna receive this email um, so the number should reflect the list that you selected unless you want to select multiple lists that's uh, the power of get responses get response allows you to send newsletters across multiple lists so if you wanted to send the same message to multiple lists you would just select another list from the uh, from your campaign settings you'll see the number update and then you simply hit next step okay so this is the final review screen what you're gonna see is your message subject who it's from you've got your tracking on and your spam score uh, I don't pay much attention to that unless it's a really high score which they'll let you know um, inbox preview unreviewed I don't use inbox preview simply because I, I I can't get it to work consistently in my browser I use Chrome I haven't got it to work in Firefox either in fact I haven't got it <laughs> to work consistently in any of my browsers on my Mac so I just don't use it that's why I said send a text a test email to yourself so you can see how it looks 
um, it'll review how many recipients you have now you have two options you can either send it right now and it'll fire off this email or you can select schedule if you select schedule now you can choose when to send this email you're only gonna use schedule if you, you're sending more than one email at a time or if you you know you know you'll be on vacation or if you have a set day and time that you create your newsletters but you send them later so anyway those are a few cases but if you just click this it gives you a nice little graph where you can say hey I want to send this Thursday slide this over to 7 a.m. in the morning this time travel when it's marked to off means it's gonna send it 7 a.m. in whatever time zone you select it okay if you mark if you select time travel on it will send it 7 a.m. in every time zone so right now it's 7 a.m. in central time zone It's 8 a.m. in Eastern well if I select this to send at 7 a.m. in every time zone it will send it at 7 a.m. in Central Eastern Pacific all of the time zones across the world um, I never use that feature ever but that's what it does and when you're finished you just simply hit send once you hit send you'll be prompted with a confirmation that says well done you just sent your newsletter according to your settings and that's how you send an HTML text-based newsletter and get response